this review, I have paired it with my Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is broken because we do reuse the phones that we break. But I suspect that you'd have a better experience staying within the OnePlus ecosystem, meaning a OnePlus phone. At first glance, the OnePlus watch bears a striking resemblance to the Galaxy Watch Active. A round watch face, AMOLED touchscreen, and stainless steel frame. But this one only comes in a 46mm option, which, as you can see, looks pretty overpowering on my wrist. And I didn't even think I had small wrists to begin with. So just something to keep in mind. Surprisingly enough, though, it wasn't too uncomfortable to wear, even at night. So that has to do with the slim form factor. Most of the navigation happens on the touchscreen itself, although it does have two side buttons for back and select. The watch bands are made of silicon and comfortable enough, but you can easily swap them out with others with a quick release. In terms of functionality, the OnePlus watch does everything you'd expect a smartwatch to do in 2021. It's running its own OS, similar to Tizen's operating system, so it can display notifications, make and answer phone calls, and serve as a remote for both your phone camera and a OnePlus TV, which I don't happen to have, but you won't find NFC for payments. Now, in theory, it can play music, but you have to load it manually using the app, as it has no Spotify support or any third-party music apps for that matter. The watch also does your basic fitness tracking with over 110 different workout types to choose from. So in theory, you could also leave your phone behind on a run because it does have built-in GPS, but I haven't found it to be the most reliable. There were a few times where I took it out for a run and it didn't connect, and the distance was a bit off. I like that it breaks out your heart rate zones by intensity. 